Hi, Big Dreamers. It's Eva Cartman, the host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. Today, we are going to talk about mentors, why you need mentors to achieve your big dreams, and how to find mentors. This is a super important episode for our younger big dreamers, especially because if you find a good mentor, you can get the guidance you need to make less mistakes on your journey and get to your goals much faster than if you try to figure out everything on your own. This is episode 129. You know what time it is. It's time to dream big. My name is Eva Cartman. I'm part of a squad of super kids that are here to change the world. We don't believe you need to be adults to have big goals and start working towards your dreams. We believe age is just a number and you're never too young to make a difference. We may be young, but we are not naive. We understand that achieving our big dreams will not be easy. It will take incredible dedication, hard work, and yes, massive action. There'll be ups and downs, but we embrace the challenges and relish pushing outside of our comfort zone because this is how we grow. They may not teach us these concepts in our school textbooks, but we are smart enough to know that the tools and tactics to achieve our big dreams are out there. And we are willing to do the work to seek out these skills and master them because we know that our future depends on it. We are the big dreamers, and it's time to dream big. One of the skills that will be most important in achieving your big dreams is learning to seek guidance from those who have found success in whatever it is that you are passionate about. Think about it. Those people have years, even decades of experience, and you can imagine all the lessons they were learning along the way. Many of those lessons came as a result of mistakes that were made that could have been avoided. But we're learning the hard way. Wouldn't it be nice if you could find mentors who can teach you what they have learned through their experiences? Can you see how it would be extremely valuable to know mistakes that are made so that you can go at it with the knowledge and hopefully avoid the same error so you can get to your goal even faster? Of course, the answer is yes. Yet there are many people who choose not to seek out mentorship. Some are know-it-alls who think they can figure out everything on their own. Others just don't know the power of mentorship or don't know how to find mentors, so they never take advantage of this powerful resource and shortcut to their big dreams. In today's episode, I'd like to share some common misconceptions about mentorship and give my best advice to you about how to find mentors and, more importantly, get them to agree to mentor you. First, the biggest misconception is that the mentor has to be someone who you are working with one-on-one and requires a huge time commitment by the mentor. This is simply not true. In this day and age with the internet, you can find mentors who you may never meet personally. Indeed, the most famous experts on all topics now make their best contact available for free. There are TED Talks, short 15 to 20 minute speeches that are beautifully crafted and presented on every subject you can imagine. On YouTube, you can find commencement speeches, which are speeches delivered to students when they graduate from college. Visionaries like Steve Jobs from Apple and J.K. Rowling, of course, my favorite author of all time, have given amazing commencement addresses, giving their best advice to students about how to live a meaningful life and work towards their big dreams. And of course, on YouTube, you can find videos on every subject, from dog training to learning how to play an instrument to how to make slime. If you look at many of the past solo episodes of the Dream Bit podcast, those are often based on videos that I have found online of other speakers like Tony Robbins or Les Brown or Myron Golden. When you think about it, those experts became a mentor to me by teaching me something that I found valuable and are now the mentors for all the big dreamers who heard those episodes and were touched by the story. But let's say you are looking for a more traditional mentor, someone who on occasion you can talk to or email and get advice. Many mentors are extremely busy and their time is very valuable. So you want to make sure that you follow these tips. One, you don't need to look for the most famous mentor. The more famous they are, the more likely their time will be extremely limited. Sometimes you can get the best advice from someone who is just a little further ahead of you on the journey. Not only will they be more available, but they will also have more recently dealt with the challenges you are currently experiencing, so often can give you better advice than someone who hasn't dealt with similar obstacles in years. 
Number two, when you do approach a mentor, be specific as possible in your questions. For instance, if you're looking for advice on public speaking, don't just say, what's your advice on speaking in public? Instead, come up with a specific question so they can really tailor their advice to you and see that you're being thoughtful. You might ask, I get really nervous right before I get on stage. What are some strategies you use right before you're going to speak to an audience to get you in the mindset to deliver to your best ability? Number three, you're more likely to get a response from a mentor if they can see that you are a supporter of their work. For instance, I actually seek out mentors by inviting them on my podcast. Legendary interviewer Cal Fussman, as an example, is someone who I invited on the show because I knew all you big dreamers will get great value from his advice. And I was prepared with specific questions about conducting interviews. He then invited me to come on his podcast and I was able to get even more advice since I showed him how interested I was in his work by inviting him on my podcast. You don't need a podcast to do this. If the mentor is on social media, then you can comment on their content, sharing their posts, and show your appreciation for their work by being an engaged member of their community. If the mentor does live events, you can go to the event and try to meet in person if possible. When the mentors see that you are truly fans of their work and have been supportive by engaging with their content, you are giving yourself a much higher chance that the mentor will engage with you. Number four. Finally, and this one is the probably most important, do great work. If you are out there working hard towards your big dreams, making progress and getting results, that is such an impressive indicator to mentors that you are serious about achieving your big dreams. Mentors want to work with people who are serious and action takers. So if they give you their time and advice, they know that you will implement the advice and get results. So it is time well spent. Mentorship can be extremely valuable for both the mentor who is giving back and the mentee who is getting the benefit of the expertise. The way you ensure that the relationship is good for both parties is by putting in the work necessary to take the advice and turn it into results that you can celebrate together. I hope you big dreamers enjoyed this episode. Remember, you don't need to have just one mentor. You can find many mentors online, the vast majority of which you won't need to meet to get value from. And with mentors that you do work with personally, be sure to be specific as possible, to respect their time, to support their dreams as well by engaging with their content, and that the way you can honor the relationship the most is by doing the hard work to implement their advice. Thank you to all you big dreamers listening. If you are enjoying the podcast, please take a moment to leave us a review on iTunes at dreambigpodcast.com slash iTunes. We do read your reviews and it helps us get in front of more big dreamers, which is my mission. As a reminder, we still have our free Confidence Secrets course available at dreamitpodcast.com slash beta. In this free Confidence Secrets course, you'll get over one hour of me teaching you about how to develop your superpower of self-belief. If you're a younger big dreamer listening to this, please ask your parents to help you get it. Again, it's completely free for a limited time, so please take advantage and get the course while you still can at dreambitpodcast.com slash beta. I would love to be one of your mentors on the subject of confidence. And if you enjoyed this episode and believe, like I do, that your friends can benefit tremendously from learning how to find mentors, then please tell your friends and family about the Dreambit Podcast. If everyone listening would just tell one person about the podcast, that would get our show in front of so many new big dreamers, which I would forever be grateful for. You can point them directly to this episode at dreambitpodcast.com slash 129. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to the Dreambit Podcast. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action to turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion, the way life is meant to be. I'll see you next episode. Bye.